Oh, you have no division against fruits! Oof. What's going on everyone? It's me, incredibly mediocre at Hoi 4 Rambler here, and today, well, I'm, I'm on Hearts of Iron 4, I'm going to attempt to save another save game, because they've been going really well so far, haven't they? Oh my goodly goo! But today, I'm already wearing the glasses, I've got a cup of tea, right, here we go, and a chocolate hobnob, so I, I've, I've, got, I've got faith. I've got faith I can do this one. But of course, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. 5,000 likes for more hoy. And if we get to to 400,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I'll, uh, I'll be very happy. That's not going to happen, though. I, w I thought about, just, just then, coming up with some wacky thing that I could do. Oh, God, it's been a long year. I can't, I I'm not doing it. I'm not doing anything for it. Uh, but today's save game is sent by Flowey Nope. Wilhelm III slaps France and Soviets slap Poland, then Wilhelm slaps the Soviets with a bad division. He calls himself a bad player with 300 hours, Fs himself with bad division templates. Well, this is going to be fun, isn't it, everyone? <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? We have the what? The Transcaucasian People's Republic, apparently. Huh? Yep, yeah, that's... How is this even... How can you be... How can you even have an Iron Man save which uses the Formable Nations mod? We've got the Empire of the Lion. What? What am I playing? I'm so... Uh, just eat the hobnob, Alex. Eat the hobnob. Oh, I'm going to dunk it. Oh. A hobnob is a really great biscuit to dunk in a cup of tea. They hold together really well. I'm going to go for another dunk. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh god. This looks like it's going to be a very, very quick save game. So with the central powers all around here, Bulgaria's not doing nothing. Um, we're protecting the entire coastline down here, which seems a bit odd. It looks like France is holding. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's going very well at all. Germany's taken one... B huh? Germany's taken 1.65 million casualties? You can see, like, Wilhelm, how are you not, how, how are you not depressed right now? So we're preparing the Italian coup. Right. This might save us. This could, this could help. Let's look at the division templates. So the main division, that, 40 combat width infantry, yeah, with, with four artillery, that's fine. Panzer divisions, medium SP artillery. Well, that should be very good at killing infantry, right? So that should be fine. Nanny ta okay, let's forget about those. Uh, garrison divisions, even those are seven twos, which should be fine for defense, and paratroopers, ten combat. Your division templates aren't that bad, I don't know why you were saying they were terrible. But thank you for not declaring war on... Oh, no, oh just kidding, the wa What? Oh no, you did annex Belgium, right. Okay, so I think every nation... Yep. Yeah. Please build an air force. Viewers at home, please build an air force. You, 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 you need one. You need more than ten fight. <sighs> okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, we, we need to st stem the flow of troops being, going, Russia dying. Everyone should stop attacking first. Let's, let's sort that out. You appear to be holding. How about you go behind the river, so you've got the river to defend from. You literally have three divisions to defend against. Okay, this can, this can, I can solve this. Right, so we don't need all of these divisions protecting the coastline. You just need 14 divisions to protect th the ports. Um, so I'm going to reassign the vast majority of these divisions now over to the real threat, which is... Mr. Russia. I'm gonna have to rearrange this entirely, aren't I? I don't know what the feck's going on here. I'm gonna r retire some of these panzer divisions so that will reduce our surplus. I think. Yeah, because we really shouldn't be build bothering with light tanks. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm also rearranging my front line so hopefully it's a bit more balanced. And then hopefully we can just hold off Russia till France can capitulate. Right. <laughs> I'm sending all my tanks to try and take Paris and just punch through their lines. 
Uh, we're very low on manpower. We're, why are we bothering building in this? Uh, oh, no. Why are you building infrastructure? Can someone please tell me? Because this is the second time it's happened. People seem to love building infrastructure, and I don't know why. Because it's not like you're going to have supply issues down... Down there, right? Is it? Like, you know, just... Look at all this that needs to be repaired. Like, I'm going to focus on the repairs for now. Holy moly. Okay, how are we doing over the air? We're not. Oh, but you do have your air groups in size of 100, so that's great. Thank you for doing that. Everything should go into northern France at the moment, seeing as we're trying to get aerial supremacy there, I presume. And now we wait and see if our divisions can hold. Oh boy. Okay, but where are we attacking just on a couple of tiles? I think we'll be able to push through. Uh and take another tile or two from France. At least that's the plan. However, 20 combat whips appear to not want to do that. Okay, I'm not trading well at all. Uh, so <laughs> I'm just gonna, I guess, hold my strength with my air force and, and not use it. I love the front lines when they don't actually stretch along to where you need them to. Love it there, thank you very much. Thank you, appreciate that. I think I'm going to get rid of the nanny tanks because they're just a waste, really. In 1941, and you're losing, you're using light tanks. So I'm just going to get rid of your nannies. It really does seem, unless you can get air superiority, uh, you're screwed. Like you just can't attack. So I'm going to have to try and build an air force, and might, I might send another block of divisions to try and help against Russia. But other than that, th this isn't... I don't know, this is savable. This is really tough. This does seem to really remind me of when I was first starting to play Hearts of Iron, and I was pretty bad, and I used to do the challenges. Uh, this is this is how I feel right now, trying to do these challenges. It just feels like I'm doing a challenge all over again, and really, really You'll sucking at surrender. it. Just eat another hobnob, Alex. Eat another hobnob. Hmm. Why were you putting so many factories on anti-air when you already have a surplus of 10,000. Yeah, the Soviets are breaking through. Yeah, this might end up being my death, but I'm going to abandon a lot of Romania. I haven't even done the Italian coup yet. This is... Oh, I'm so... <laughs> I need to pick easier save games. Oh no, we're not even on war economy. Oh, you're having a giraffe. Oh no. So we're holding on most of the border regions. I am con I, I am kind of convinced that this this isn't savable. I shouldn't have tried this. I'm going to look like a right plonker now. Okay, assassinate Mussolini. The Empire of the Lion joins the Central Powers. If I can survive 70 days and we get Italy on side, then we might have a chance. Atomic research when you're getting screwed over, uh, don't bother with. If, if I'm being completely frank. Um, let's get some better engineer companies. Increase our entrenchment. Bloody Nora. Yeah, so I, I am a little bit baffled on, on what to do anymore. So if you have any advice, please do comment below because uh, I'm not even building any artillery. It really does suck when when you have a save game where people just don't build an air force. It's, ba it's basically impossible. After man the guns, it's basically impossible to do anything without air supremacy. Mussolini assassination succeeds. The monarchy shall rise again, and we're literally Abyssinia. What? <laughs> Abyssinia, led by Victor Emmanuel III. Okay, sure, why not? Come on in, please. Oh, you have no divisions against fruits! <laughs> I was hoping to just bleed the Russians enough so that they'd run out of equipment, but they're not. that's not really happening. Okay, so Italy has done literally nothing and is losing in North Africa. Uh, they're cycle attacking in the Alps and going nowhere because they don't have green air. Can I can I say I've saved this one? I think I can, right? Because they they can't push me anymore. So that's good. Come on, encircle them in Dunkirk. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. We've encircled the Frenchies. 
Okay, uh, let's start to increase the weapons on on me freaking plane, shall we? Boomily, boomily, give me them decent plane and pl pl planes. Oh shit! What? Italy, why? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I need a minute. I'll come back to it. I can't do it. I, I, just, I, I need, I need, a, I need a banana. Bloody hell. How am I? And if I had any spare troops, I would send them down. But I... I'll oh, just keep calm and eat banana. This is going to leave me so stretched. Oh. Okay, if I can finish Serbia off, at least there's one nation gone, isn't it? Yeah, see, look, my troops can defeat... The frickin' Balkans. It's not the French. Gosh, goodly darn. Give me that rubber. <laughs> I need rubber in my pants. Uh, they're out of supply. But no, they suck. My divisions suck. And I think it's all because I don't have any aircraft. Finland! Hello! How are you doing? I, I'm not going to call you in. I'm not going to call you in. I would love to, but you'd get absolutely wrecked right now, I think. 10 million manpower, Mr. Stalin? Jesus. How are the Russians attacking in winter and winning? That's not fair. <laughs> oh, Italy's doing amazingly, guys. Watch the... <laughs> wow. They're the real MVPs of this match. Why did I think that bringing them in would save me? That was so stupid. I was so dumb. But at least the Finns are just distracting... Old Mr. Stalin up here. Yeah, take that. Feck off. I've barely starved one bunch of Frenchmen. I don't need the freaking Brits coming in. Ugh. That's literally 15 di French divisions starving in Lille. And I can't finish them. Ugh. Okay, so the French are currently on 603,000 casualties. When they inevitably die in Lille, which apparently that's impossible for them, they're literally Iron Men. Oh, good. They're finally dying. They've gone up to 727,000 casualties. I'm going to have to try and bail out Italy down here, so I'll send my remaining 10 conscripted divisions to help them. We might knock our first nation out of the war. We overran them. Croatia's gone. Hey, how about that? I don't mind naval invasions like this, because they just are going to attrition themselves, right? There's not... I don't really need to do much. They're just gonna... It's just a waste of their manpower. So the more they do that, the, the better, really. I could do this all day. I'd rather not, but I could. Huh? Serbia's capitulated. We've done it, lads. And now we've encircled a huge bunch of their troops. So I'm so far mainly doing this without the use of tanks. I haven't been able to build them because I don't have the tungsten. And I'm gonna try and... I'm still building up my air force. If I can just get my air force complete, then I think that I can finally, I think I can finally start pushing them. All right, we've done that. Now, where to push? I still want to try and take out France, so I'm going to put Manstein down here. Uh, see if we can't do some sort of advance. If I can get air supremacy. Okay, the French were weaker in the south than I thought. I think I might be able to push a few tiles. <laughs> this is exciting. I look with great interest while finishing my banana. I imagine I'm losing the air war. Yeah, I don't care. Well, I appear to be breaking them in the south. Oh. Maybe I, I, maybe I can fix this game after all. Holy moly, everyone. We're doing it. Ha oh, ha, what? Norway has accepted... The United Kingdom declared war on Norway? Oh, you silly... And S Sweden will join me soon, too. Ha 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 ha. Oh, brilliant. Let everyone join the Central Powers. Take that, UK, you plonkers. Ah, non-discriminatory conscription. Very good. My tanks are actually doing okay now. I mean, they're still the 20-whip trash. But they're managing to push Russia back a little bit. Noish. Uh, oh, oh. Rate my encirclement, Reddit. Rate my encirclement. Oh, they've barely got any divisions there. Oh. Push across the board. Oh. 
Do you know what? I will establish Bourbon France. Hopefully that doesn't crash the game. Ha ha! Bourbon! Well, uh, it appears Free France took back Paris in the confusion, but I think I can take it back. Uh, I'm still not trading very well in the air, despite upgrading my fighters considerably. It's still like 24 to 7, and I think it's just because of the sheer amount of fighters that they have. However, I am producing 20 a day, so I think that I can probably outproduce. Actually. I think I can now produce them. Oh, good. Free France has capitulated. Right. Let's just take their final territories. And then, I, I, I think that's saved, really, isn't it? Almost, maybe? <laughs> oh, reinstate imperial possessions. I will, thank you. <sighs> nice. Well, I think I've saved it, for sure. The Russians can't push, and they've taken almost eight million casualties now. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we can lose. I'm gonna try a cheeky power drop. I don't expect it to go very well, but apparently they could just activate. Seriously? Oh, uh, what? Seriously? I might actually be able to get air superiority over Brit. I can. Ah. Huh. All right. Well, although I'm taking a lot of attrition, if I take some more ports like Bristol, whoo! This has been a right turnaround, isn't it? Holy moly! That is one heck of an air battle going up. Uh, I don't know that the Allies can sustain that for as long as I can. I'm producing 14 fighter threes a day. Unfortunately, I just can't get any supply to the British Isles, so I would have to pull out. Uh, things against Russia are, are pretty much the same. But I think overall, this has been saved. Like, it would be very difficult to lose this one now. Uh, admittedly, the invasion of the UK went to a halt as soon as the supply dropped. And when I look at the supply, it's just the previous bottleneck. I think if maybe I secured London, that would have given me more supply. But the UK actually has pretty much their whole army stationed here, so it'd be pretty difficult to take. So if you can fix the supply issue, then I think that this is really... It's gone alright! So although this hasn't been like a, you know, I haven't completed the campaign, these saves aren't really meant to do that. They're just meant to kind of save a tricky spot you're in. So I've done it. Uh, I would I am, I would probably now withdraw out of Britain, because I, I thought they'd be easy prey, but they actually have all of their units stationed here, so I would just withdraw out of it completely. Um, as long as your convoys can get back. Uh, but you have the manpower to just produce another army now, and your fighters uh, should be able to out uh, outmaneuver the allied ones eventually. So yeah, success. Wait, they've still got almost 13,000 fighters. Bloody Nora. Anyway, I'm declaring this one a success. It went a lot better than I think we can all agree thought it would go. Uh, so comment, like, subscribe, and I'll be back soon. Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Parappa the Trapper, Ryan Cock, Cody Freeze, Name Name 1231, Aiden, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too! I did it right that time!